Hey baddies, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be stuffing the first check for September for myself. If you'll notice, I'm paying myself a little less. I'm trying to do some updates for the business. So instead of actually pulling it from my business, I'm just going to pull it from my income because I can uh, afford to do that right now. So if you are new here, my name is Jasmine. I'm an all cash budgeter. I used a what's called a zero based budget. And so you will see me work through my budget planner for the week. And this week I'll actually, I got a little bit more in depth so that you guys can see bills. I know y'all don't see that from me often. Cash envelopes and sinking funds. And so if, if that's that something that interests you or something that you are interested in learning, go ahead and stay tuned. So I have plenty of videos showing you how I go through my budget planner and then I go ahead and move pull this up for a second and then so I start with my budget planner and I fill out all the spaces right so once I figure out the amounts that I need for my cash envelopes and my sinking funds I then add those same goals here the amount that I need and then this is how I figure out what money to get from the teller I've seen that question a few times in the comments lately so I just thought I'd give you guys a better description so like I need a hundred dollars from savings so I'm getting one hundred dollar bill so for retirement I need 125 so I'm getting a hundred a 20 and a five and then I go through and I add all of those up and then I add it to a cash breakdown this is a really old one I have more updated ones in my shop but hand this to the teller and in my instance I pull the money out of the ATM and hundreds and just give this to them and they send it back to me like this okay so hope that helps all right let's get into this budget <clears throat> so very first here we have our bills so this week we paid electric sprint our wi-fi our netflix and i made a payment on my navy federal credit card these four transactions were auto drafted out of my um spending account and electric i paid in cash that's my portion or at least so I'll be stuffing the bills fund with money for bills but it's just paying myself back because I already went ahead and paid it and then next we'll move into cash envelopes and so I've already bought groceries this week via Instacart I am on this whole health kick right now so I won't be um, eating out and shopping is a no for me right now um, I have some other goals I'm trying to reach so all I'll be stuffing this week and these are my cash envelopes I carry these in my wallet and y'all quit buying the Moterm because I got something good coming okay um anyway so we're going to be adding $20 to laundry because I do that every week so two tens so our washing machine broke we've been going to the laundry mat but girl I can't wait for Black Friday because I'm just gonna buy a washing machine I need to start an envelope for it, but at this point, it don't even matter. And then gas, we're going to put a 20. And so that's it for our cash envelopes. I know they're kind of empty, but I did the most last month, so I'm really trying to um, recoup that money because, you know, you have months where you just overspend, and I definitely did that. All right, so that's all for this wallet, and our cash envelopes are stuffed for the week. Next, we are going to move, can y'all see that? Into our sinking funds. And if you'll notice, I've moved my um, high priority funds into a new binder. This is super cute. Um, I had a customer order a custom binder um, with this design. And then I remade another one. I was gonna sell it on the site, but I never put it up. So I just decided I'll use it since it's spooky season. Super cute. So savings. We'll be adding $100. I'm going to have to move this back. It's in my way. I will just zoom in more though. Okay. Yeah, so if you are interested in custom binders, you'll have to DM me on Instagram. I haven't found a way to get it on the site yet. 1,000, 2,003, 100, 200, 20, 30, 32, 33. <clears throat> okay. Next up is retirement and to retirement we'll be adding 125 and if you are new here please know that this money is not just sitting here. I actually pull the money from my account, put it in my Fidelity every week 
and invest it. And once this fund reaches a thousand, I just pay myself back, but I just like seeing it here. And I feel like it's so important for us to invest. So I want you guys to see it also and see that with even just a little bit, you know, we can make a difference. 1,000, 2,000, 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 215, 220. So $2,220 in our retirement account. And right now I am funding an IRA. Okay, so debt, we'll be adding $50. Okay, so 1,000, 1,050, 1,070, 1,075. And this is going towards um, commercial debt and stuff like that. If I'm able to get stuff removed off my credit report, I'll pay that. But this is mostly savings for next year when I do tackle my debt really heavy. Okay. So new whip is going to receive two hundred dollars. So grab two one hundred dollar bills here. And if you've been here a while, you know I'm saving to pay all cash for a car. But <sighs> y'all, I think I'm going to buy a newer car just because it makes more sense for business taxes. So that's kind of where I am right now. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand. 102, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 5,000, 50, 75. So 5,075 in new whip. Um, I consulted with the new CPA for, you know, a little bit larger small businesses. And it would be a really good write-off. If I can find one this year that I like. Um, but as y'all know, I'm repairing my credit and I don't want an insane interest rate. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. Emergency fund, we are adding $25. You know, we get into business and it seems like the money making part is not hard for me. The marketing part is not hard for me. But learning all the ins and outs and making sure I don't miss stuff and just the back end stuff. Y'all don't jump into this <laughs> and you're not willing to invest money in time. Let me tell you. Emergency. 1,100, 200, 300, 4, 450, 470, 475, 476 on fees alone for just the professionals I needed to hire for my business in the past seven days I've spent about fifteen hundred dollars and I listen I ain't rich so that wasn't an easy <laughs> fifteen hundred to dish out but that's just some of the small things you know it's that stuff can get expensive medical we're going to be adding thirty dollars there's an order thank you for whoever that is all right, so 100, 200, 300, 4, 5, 550, 570, 580, 590, 595 in medical. All righty, for family time, we are going to be adding $10. So we'll just grab a $10 bill. Now we have 110. I'm hoping to not touch this until Christmas time because we spend a lot of money <laughs> at Christmas. Um, so. All right, moving on to our next folder here. Our miscellaneous fund. I don't want to do this. Okay, so our miscellaneous fund will be receiving $25. Move this money up. Okay, so we now have 100, 20, 40, 45, 50. So we have 150. And miscellaneous I'm trying to build that back up and travel it's like y'all brought some money back <laughs> I actually um, won some money gambling so most of that is this um, but I did say I'd bring money back so I did all right so to travel we are going to be adding 30 bucks don't have any trips planned just yet but again my dream destination is Bali and I've told myself I will do that next year 100 2 3 4 5 600 650 670 690 710 730 740 750 760 770 780 785 790 795 800 805 806 807 so we now have eight hundred and seven dollars here 
Okay, next for my essentials, we're going to be adding 50. And again, this is for anything I need. So when I, y'all look at these nails. <laughs> so I don't typically do acrylics. I do press-ons because I hate the condition they leave my nails in when they come off. But I had a friend pay for my nails, right? And so I was on a Zoom call with a lawyer <laughs> and the lady was just doing my nails y'all if this ain't giving better homes and gardens uh walking down the aisle in 2003 i, I hate them but i don't want to waste my friend's money so i'm gonna wear them for two weeks <sighs> so don't come for me for these nails but anyway one two three three fifty four four twenty four forty so we have four forty in here so anyway, just anything I need, really. Uh-oh. I'm determined to throw that money out, right? So for gifts, we're going to be adding $50. Let's see. And we are going to add that to Kiage, I guess. So some of my nieces are grown and in college, and I know they just be needing money. Well, one of them don't, but the other one does. So our new total in there should be $425. So Christmas, we'll be receiving 50 bucks. I was just sitting talking to my niece today about actually being excited about Christmas this year because I'm actually in a good place financially. One, two, three, four, four, fifty, five, five, twenty, five, forty, five, forty-five. And usually I have to like scrap together and they don't even really feel it. Like, you know, the Christmas is a struggle. <clears throat> but woo. <laughs> I'm just so grateful for this method like I'm not worried at all I have the money put away for Christmas Ugh, it's just such a good feeling Rico is getting 25 that's my pet turtle so 100 200 220 230 235 240 our short-term goal here is 300 because Rico needs a new tank all right insurance is getting $20 this is car insurance for the vehicle I will be purchasing. 100, 150, 170, 190. So yeah, y'all, I'm definitely looking forward to the holidays for the first time in forever because it's not, it doesn't feel burdensome, you know? And there have been years where I was like full of dread. <laughs> 100, 20, 40, 60 in car maintenance. Um, again, I was planning on buying a used car. Um, I still might, you know? And so I know that those will need a little extra love. So, boobies, which is my breast <clears throat> reduction fund, will be receiving $50. So 100, 200, 3, 4, 450, 5, 520. So I was like contemplating on using this money for weight loss surgery. I'll just be candid for a minute. I have been like struggling with my weight since I got out of college. But I had an epiphany the other night and I decided that I'm going to bet on myself. And I'm going to give myself 30 days to just, the 100 for bills is going in, to just give it my best effort and see what I can do. Because I kind of want to earn it, you know? It doesn't, there's $40 for a household. I want to work hard and sweat it off. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 130. I feel like I'll appreciate it better. And I also feel like it's a healthier way to lose it. I didn't put it on overnight, so I don't want to lose it overnight. So yeah, healthy changes in the life. But also those boobies gotta go, right? So that's everything for my budget. And I typically do this every week. I'm debating on switching to bi-weekly to pay myself less because I want to revamp some things in my business and they are expensive. So you may be seeing these every other week. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, I'll see once I sit back down with my CPA again. So hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I haven't put one of these out in a while. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, check out my website. If you are looking for anything that I sell, the website is baddiesandbudgets.com. That is my name on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. You can find me there. Oh, my fur budgets is strictly for YouTube. Okay. So that's it, guys. Y'all have a good day. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.